Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Glossier haul, my second haul, and it was from the Black Friday sale in which the entire website was 20% off. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. I actually wanted to share with you guys first um, the products from Glossier that I am wearing on my face today, and these are all from my first haul. I want to say it was probably a month ago, around that time, maybe in October, that I got my first order. Uh, the first thing that I'm wearing as my base is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I'm just running errands today and, and uh, grocery shopping and those sorts of things and laundry and nothing super exciting. Um, so I'm not wearing a ton of makeup, but I did want to put a look a little bit put together to film this for you guys. Uh, so this is the base that I'm wearing. At first, I did not like this uh, product. I think the first time it just wasn't my favorite, so I didn't use it for a while, and then I tried it again, and now I really enjoy it. <laughs> um, so as you can see, it gives a really nice glowy uh, look to the skin. My skin feels plump and hydrated. Um, really do enjoy this stuff, and again, that is the Priming Moisturizer. On top of that, I have in just some sort of uh, red patches and under my eyes, I have the Glossier Stretch Concealer in Light. Um, also with this, I have the Becca Under Eye Brightener mixed in under my eyes to brighten it up just a little bit more and cover up a little bit more of the dark patches. But again, I do have it on some red patches under um, on my cheeks and then also under my nose and a little bit on my chin. So just a little bit of covering up with that. It's not full coverage whatsoever, but I still really do enjoy that. And it also is a pretty decent skin match um, for me, specifically when I'm not wearing foundation. If I were to put this on top of foundation, it's, it's a little bit dark or darker than I like it. Um, but when I'm not wearing any foundation, this is a pretty decent shade match for me. On my lips, I'm wearing the Generation G lipstick in the shade Like. It's a, like a Your Lips But Better sort of pinky tone. It looks a lot darker <laughs> um, in the tube than it does... Uh, when applied, you can definitely build this up. It's a matte, a more matte formula, but still not drying. It's a little bit hydrating, um, and I really do enjoy this formula. And last but not least on my face, I am wearing Boy Brow in the shade Brown. This is my all-time favorite Glossy product to date, anyway. I, I did pick up a lot of new things uh, during my, uh, during these sales, so I'm excited to share those with you guys, but this is definitely a standout product from the Glossier range. Again, I have mine in the shade brown. Uh, today I have it with nothing else on my brows, but I also, t uh, top my Anastasia Brow Wiz, <laughs> that's what it's called, in the shade medium brown. I use this to top it, uh, just to give it sort of a more polished look, uh, and I really do love, love, love this product. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started, actually. In the little box, it comes with a little sheet of stickers. Um, I haven't used my last ones yet, but I might start putting these on some of my products because they're always so cute when I see them on other people's Instagram posts. Uh, but so during the sale, I picked up a couple different sets of products because they are discounted when you do buy more than one of them. I almost picked up all four of these, but I didn't. I refrained and I only picked up a duo. So these are the Glossier Cloud Pinks and I picked up the shades Beam which is this more coral shade, and Dusk, which is this more neutral shade. So I haven't even swatched these yet. I've been waiting for this video. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do a little swatch of Beam. I don't have any blush on today. Ooh, there it, it comes sealed. I might, depending on how pigmented these are, um, I might give a little, um, this over here, a little demo for you guys. Ooh, okay, so they are a little bit more liquidy than I anticipate. They're not like liquid by any means. Uh, but they are a little bit more liquidy than I anticipated. So that is Beam, and this is Dusk. And then we'll do some comparisons. Whoop. All right. Ooh, so this is almost brown. I thought it was going to be a more neutrally pinky shade, but it is almost a brown shade. So this is Beam, blended out. And then with a clean finger, this is Dusk. Very pretty shades. I, I don't know if I'm going to apply one of these today uh, because I am sort of doing a no makeup makeup look, but those are very pretty shades. I almost want to apply Beam. I lied, I'm going to apply Beam. <laughs> okay, so just a little bit here. Oh, too a little bit too low here. Using the viewfinder is not my best option, I suppose. Okay, and a little bit for the other side. 
So when I use blush, sorry, <laughs> um, I like to try to contour with it instead. Not fully contour, but I like to sort of shake, shape my cheeks uh, with blush as opposed to just focusing on the apples because I already have a round in the face as it is. But oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. It is not super, super pigmented if you use a light hand. Um, but I'm very intrigued to continue playing with those products. It definitely does not um, dry down super matte. At least it hasn't already. And it sits really nicely on top of that um, priming moisturizer as well. So those are the cloud paints that I picked up. Another product that I might as well go ahead and try uh, that I picked up is actually part of another duo. And this was the Halo Scope and Boy Brow Duo. Like I said earlier, I'm obsessed with Boy Brow and Brown, so I did pick up another one of those. Uh, but this is the Halo Scope Highlighter Dew Effect Highlighter in the shade Quartz. Oh boy. That is beautiful. It really is. Just like a gloss on the skin. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I went with Quartz instead of Moonstone because I had heard some people say that it wasn't, that it was more sparkly or more gritty than the other colors and Topaz was obviously going to be too dark for me. But if you guys can see, there is a ring of color around what looks to be a core of moisture, which I think is what really gives that gloss. So let's go ahead and I kind of want to apply it from the back of my hand as opposed to just dragging it up on my cheeks. So let's just do a little bit of that. So I had been contemplating getting this, but also had been contemplating getting, oh boy, <laughs> the um, RMS Beauty Living Luminizer, which is, I guess, similar. It comes in a pot as opposed to a stick. Um, but I had heard that that breaks some people out. I do have sensitive skin, so I opted for this little guy. Oh boy. So I don't think, oh yeah, on the back of my hand or on my cheekbones, but I'm going to be glowy while I am running errands today. So I'm very excited to keep playing with that as well. All right. So again, like I said, that was a duo when I did pick up another boy brow and I actually picked up two. <laughs> so I did pick up brown with that duo, uh, but I also picked up clear or transparent because I um, want to be able to use this like on, on no makeup makeup days, but still want my brows to be sort of in place because they are kind of crazy. Um, so this is what the clear looks like. Oh boy, there's a little goopiness. But it looks a little bit white uh, in the tube, but it does go on clear or so I'm told. And then this is the brown shade. That is my, actually I'll open my other one since it's already open and out so I can show you guys. And that is what the brown looks like. It definitely has some pigment to it and definitely darkens up the brow. So I really do enjoy that product. The last set that I picked up was this little guy and this is the Balm.com Trio. And you get to customize it with whatever three scents or flavors that you want. So I picked up Rose, Coconut, and the original version. Um, I'm, I already have the birthday cake version, and I love, love, love the formula, but it does have shimmer in it, so I don't really love wearing it to bed, because who needs shimmer in your sleep? <laughs> um, but I love how hydrating it is, so I did want to pick up a couple of their scents or flavors, and I wanted to try the original specifically for my cuticles, because it is supposed to be a sort of full body salve or salve. Um, so I did want to try that on my cuticles as well as just to hydrate. Uh, and I want one for work, one for my um, work bag, one for my purse, one for my car, one for everywhere because I really do love this formula. So that is the other set that I picked up. The last couple things I picked up are all individual. Uh, this is a repurchase and a stock up because while I am not out of my last Milky Jelly Cleanser, I am obsessed with it. <laughs> so this is called their Milky Jelly, Cle Milky Jelly Cleanser. And it is classified as a conditioning face wash. I 100% agree with that claim. It hydrates, it conditions, my skin is glowy, my skin is hydrated and plump after I use this product. Uh, it's great for taking off makeup. I will say I always use this as a second cleanse. I never use this as a first cleanse. I usually go in with an oil, a face cleansing oil or a, um, a cleansing balm before I use this, but I am obsessed with this cleanser. I brought it with me for travel, just in a little pot. Uh, and I really just, like, I, I don't know how many times I can say that I love it, but I love it. <laughs> uh, if you haven't tried it, uh, try to get yourself a sample. 
Um, you can, when you make your purchases on Glossier, you can get um, little samples of either the Priming Moisturizer or the Milky Jelly. I would definitely recommend the Milky Jelly. Speaking of Priming Moisturizer, I also got the Rich version, so the Priming Moisturizer Rich. It's a luxurious face cream, it says. So I, I'm almost out of my uh, night cream. And I've been using the Laneige Water Bank Cream, I think is what it's called. Um, and I really, 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 really love that formula and really love that product. Um, but I did want to try something else. So I picked up this little guy. First off, it smells like lavender, which I love. <laughs> um, I actually have a lavender body cream from Lush, the Sleepy Cream or the Sleepy Lotion that I apply every night before bed and I'm obsessed with it. Um, but I really wanted to try this formula, and I haven't even tried it yet, but this is what the product looks like. Oh, it's a little oh, working. There we go. Maybe that's a little better angle for you guys. The light is right here. Um, but that is what the product looks like. There's a little bit on my finger. This packaging, though. How fancy is that? Uh, so let's go ahead and do a little swatch for the consistency. Okay, so it's a lot thicker than the Priming Moisturizer, the original version, in the tube. Oh, it's a really natural lavender scent, not a super chemically fake one, so I really do enjoy that. Uh, and it is very hydrating. It's I would say it's not as hydrating as my um, Laneige Water Bank Cream, though I always add an oil into that as well, so I'll probably add a little cup, a couple drops of oil into this before bed, but very excited to play with that when my Laneige one is used up. And last but not least, I picked up the Glossier Moisturizing Moon Mask. So we are in the winter and fall months here in Ohio, uh, and my skin is definitely showing that. <laughs> and it always appreciates a little bit extra moisture, even though I am normally um, combination, or my skin is normally uh, combination oily. Um, this isn't opened yet, but I really want to open it because I'm going to have to use my feet, I'm sorry. Uh, because I'm really curious about the formula of this. Oh man, okay. So I'm not going to open it all the way because it does look like it's all over the place. It doesn't have the best scent. It doesn't have any added fragrance, it smells like, but it doesn't have the best scent. Um, but that is what the consistency looks like. I am going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand as well, on top of the um, moisturizing rich cream. Okay, so that is what the product looks like. You're supposed to leave this on your face for 20 minutes and then uh, rinse off, but that blends right into the back of my hand on top of that cream and that's going to be beautiful for an evening nighttime mask. Very excited to play with that as well. So those are the Glossier products that I picked up during the 20% off sale for Black Friday. The sale is over um, but I will post my 10% off link down below and you can also find um, a I'm not a rep or anything, but I do get $10 off for that. Um, but you can also find 20% off rep codes. I'll post one of those down below as well. Um, the one that I always use and continue to use, even though you only get 20% off your first order, um, is uh, Jody Glows or Jody from Jody Glow. She's a rep for Glossier, and I'll post her link down below as well. And that will get you 20% off your first order. So if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm really in love with the Glossier brand so far, if you haven't been able to tell during this video. Um, but like I said, any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.